Hey everybody, Parker York Smith here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be styling six different outfits all with the same pair of pants. Now, maybe you're asking yourself, why? What's the point? The reason I wanna do this is to show you guys that if you are on a little bit of a budget, you can absolutely still look nice. You can have something to wear for almost the entire week with only a single pair of pants. All six outfits today are going to be styled in Jack's New York. They are an amazing brand that just pumps out all kinds of really quality basics. Uh, not even just basics. As you'll see, they've got pants, they've got outerwear, they've got pretty much whatever you need. Highly recommend checking them out and I really appreciate them sponsoring today's video. So the pants that we'll be styling all of the different outfits with are this black pair of chinos. Why chinos? Honestly, I feel like they are even more versatile than jeans because you can wear them with outfits that are a little bit dressier with a blazer, but you can also wear them with extremely casual outfits in the same way that you can with jeans. Jumping right into it, outfit number one. As you can see, I've got the black chinos. All of the looks today, I'm gonna be wearing these same white sneakers just to show you that, again, you don't have to have a ton of stuff to look nice as long as you have the right things you can make it work for you. And a black Henley t-shirt. I'm a huge fan of Henleys just because they make me feel a little bit more masculine. They're super stylish. You can layer them, you can wear them on their own. It's just a little bit more of a stylish version of a basic t-shirt. Black on black with white shoes is another look that I highly recommend. It's kind of edgy, it's fun, but also still really comfortable and casual. And for look number two, we swapped into this sort of beige polo. I'm a big fan of buttoning my polo shirts all the way up. I just think it makes it look a little bit more clean. Kind of tucked it in right at the waist, let it hang out in the back a little bit. Really casual, really comfortable look, but it's also still just a slight step up from the Henley shirt. So depending on what you have going on, a polo might be a better option. Look number three, we've got this blue sort of madras plaid button down shirt. Now anytime, well two things, anytime you're wearing a shirt that has a button down collar, for one, always have it buttoned. If you have the buttons, but you're wearing it unbuttoned and the buttons are still there, that looks ridiculous. You don't wanna do that. I hate when I see that out on the street. And two, a button down shirt collar for me is just a slight bit dressier than a casual shirt like this that doesn't have buttons. So understand that you could wear it very nicely like this and have it untucked or you could go ahead and tuck it in and it's gonna look even a little bit dressier that way. Look number four. So this is the type of shirt that I was talking about that does not have a button down collar. It's going to naturally be a little bit more casual. It works really nicely with the black chinos and the white sneaker. Because it is a little bit more casual, I leaned into that and rolled the sleeves a couple of times. This is a really great just sort of weekend outfit. Or if you do work in a really casual environment that you're able to wear something like this, it's excellent. Look number five, we've got this long sleeve gray Henley shirt, which is like my go-to in the fall. There's nothing better than it because it's super comfortable, but it's also very versatile because if it is a little bit cooler, you can throw a jacket on, you could throw a hoodie on over it and be a little bit warmer, but on its own, it's still gonna keep you really nice and comfortable. I like to keep almost all of the buttons undone. Sometimes I do all three, or you could very easily button them all if that's more your style push the sleeves up a little bit, leave it untucked. Sometimes I'll even wear a Henley underneath a blazer. So think about them as just your go-to super versatile shirt in the late summer and early fall. And finally, outfit number six, we've got this navy blue Henley slash hoodie. It's a nice hybrid, really fun piece during the fall because again, you could wear it over some of those other pieces. You can wear it on its own just like this or you could even layer it underneath a jacket for those days when it is a little bit cooler. With something like this, I actually go ahead and just keep the buttons buttoned. I know it seems counterintuitive to what I said before, but you could very easily unbutton them and make it sort of extra casual. Remember what I've said in the past, when you do have a little bit of a gap here, a necklace works really well to kind of fill that area up. And there you go guys, that's six easy outfits all from Jack's New York. I really appreciate them sponsoring today's video. And think about it, I could easily mix and match all of those pieces to create a ton of other looks as well. I could layer one of the button up shirts over a Henley. I could wear this over the polo. There's lots of different options. You just have to kind of get creative and try different things and see what makes you feel most comfortable. 
Let me know down in the comments which one of these outfits was your favorite or which one you plan on trying for yourself. If you're not already following me on Instagram, be sure to go do that so you can get other outfit inspiration for the fall. It's one of my favorite times of year for dressing because you can start to layer up, but it's still really comfortable. I love the color palette. It's just all good things. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.